Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to manage your data with CSV Getter. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to keep an Excel workbook on Windows up to date with a Airtable base like this one. So CSV Getter is an app where you can connect to your favorite data sources like Airtable, Notion and Google Sheets and create export processes or automation links between apps like Excel, Sheets, Dropbox and Google Drive. I want to keep an Excel workbook up to date with this data here. So in CSV Getter, I want to create an export and use Airtable as a data source. Now, if you've not connected Airtable, it won't appear here, but you can add data sources really easily by pressing the Add button. You'll get the option to connect, and you can select the base that you're interested in doing. At CSV Getter, we require minimum scopes uh, to get this working, and you can be really selective about the, the data that you, you allow the app to have access to. So once you've connected Airtable, you can select the base. I'm after CSV Getter demo, which is now an option for me to, to select. I can then select the table that I'm interested in, which is all furniture, and then I can select the view as well, which is great, because the, the view will keep into mind any sort of filtering. Um, and I'm going to call this my Excel export. The next screen that we're going to see will show us a sample of our Airtable data. And this is the sample screen where you can adjust your export. This is essentially the file that CSV Getter is going to generate every time it's called upon. And you can remove fields, you can reorder your fields, uh, and you can put this file directly into Google Sheets. From here, you can download the file and you can schedule a backup of the file to Google Sheets or Dropbox. But in this tutorial, we're interested in creating a live Excel update which means we're going to use the key option of CSV Getter, which is the export URL. And this is essentially a URL which is just going to download the file that we've created here. And this can be used in Excel. So I'm on a Mac, and this tutorial is for Windows, so I'm going to head over to my Windows emulator to show you how that works, but not before I copy and paste my export URL. So here you can see I'm on a Windows machine now on my Mac. This is an emulator, so it means it will be slower uh, than a normal Windows machine. So I will be pausing and stopping and starting the video to account for the lag. So in Excel, we want to open up a new workbook. So here we have a fresh Excel workbook on a Windows machine. And it's very easy to get uh, your import basically up and going. You just click on the Data tab. And under this section here, we just press from web. And in this box that appears, we just need to paste our CSV getter URL. And then we can go ahead and press OK. And the next screen that will present itself is uh, basically a data review screen where we're able to check the import. Uh, and I'm happy with this, as it obviously matches what's in Airtable and what's in CSV getter, so I'll click load. And then your data will load into your Excel workbook. But what's great about this is it's a live connection. So we're able to refresh this data whenever we want to make sure everything is up to date. So I'll give you an example of that. We can see that we have the Samurai Bookshelf here. Back over in Airtable, I'll update the name of the record to Samurai Bookshelf 1. And back in Excel, I can go ahead and refresh this query. Uh, I can use the Query and Connections pane here. If I right-click that, I can just click Refresh. You can see that the refresh process has happened, and Samurai Bookshelf now has a 1 added to it. So that's basically how to create a live connection between Airtable and Excel in a very simple and easy-to-use manner. This is one of many processes that you can use, uh, that you can set up with CSV Getter. Um, so if you have any questions, please check out our website, check out our guides. This is also available to do on Mac, and we have a guide that shows you how to do that because Excel on Mac is different to Excel on Windows. Or if you have any questions about setting up that process, you can reach us at info at csvgetter.com. Thank you for watching.